Hi, I'm Patty. Welcome back to my channel. I've got to remember where to look over here. I'm so happy you're back and I'm happy to be back. So let's take a look at some things that I had on, on my last Goodwill haul. I've got something at the very end that's something so special. I couldn't believe I found it. I'll tell you all about it. So if you hang on to the end, we'll get to it. Thanks. So first off, we've got this, this bag. This bag is from the Portage the Portage Supply Company. Can you see that? And when I got this, I thought, what is this? Is it a diaper bag? Is it a picnic bag? I just couldn't figure it out. So I looked and looked, I'm like, ah, okay, hang on. Let's, let's open it up. So I unzipped it. Let's unzip it, here we go. And it had this funny compartment that you pull out Everything is Velcroed. I thought, what is this? And I looked it up, because you gotta look up, you gotta do all your research. That to me is one of the most fun things about selling online, is doing all the research and learning about something brand new. And it is a photographer's bag. I asked a photographer friend of mine about this. He says, yeah, this is a really good one. And um, it looks like on eBay, they're reselling for right about $100, so good find. Remember how I told you earlier, We um, I always check the the tote section. Always check the bags first because that's my favorite. But then you, in the back of my Goodwill is always a tote section. Like there's luggage is back there, the totes are back there. And this is where I find some of my best finds. This is where I found this. So I'm excited to get that listed. In fact, it's already listed. So if you're a photographer, let me know if you think this is a good find. Ah, I love this. This is so fun. This is, you always gotta look for that little tag. Lululemon. I love this top. How cute is this? It has a little, it ties on the side. Can you see that? And it looks pretty ample. So I'm thinking this is probably a larger size. I know most of their things are meant to be oversized. So we'll see how oversized that is. Let's see what else we have. We've got, let's see. Oh, there's a pair of Lucky Jeans brand new with tags. So, look in here. Got to remember to look at the camera. These are a 363 straight. Can you see that? The tag says they retail for $99. Always so nice to find some of this new with tags. 3132 for men. There's the there's the tag. So, I'm probably going to list these right around $45 and see how we do. I'll put that back in our box. Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, you know, I love spring. I'm so ready for spring. I know you are too. So I bought these so cute skirts from, from Poshmark, from other poshers. It's always good to, to support your, for, you know, your fellow poshers. And during quarantine, I've been trying to lose a little weight. And unfortunately, I lost a little too much weight. This is a Jones, New York, size 16 so cute look at that pattern and it, it's all tiered it is so cute but on my 5-2 frame it is really long not only is it too long it's just too big so I'm gonna reposh it do you know you can reposh things that you buy there's a reposh button and you can just use the original listing which I think is really clever let's see here's another one that I bought it's really feeling the flowers but these Little items were not feeling me. Here is Tommy Hilfiger, size 16, in this gorgeous pink and green print. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got seaming right here. Can you see that? The seaming, oh, it's lovely. And it even has a Tommy or a TH, there it is, embroidered right there. Can you see that? There you go. Another 16, I'm gonna reposh it, but someone is going to really rock it and love it. I. It just isn't me. It just is too big for me. So there you go. My loss, my loss is someone else's gain. Still got to remember where to look at for the camera. Right there. I've got it. Next up, I almost kept this one too. This is Zara. Size XL. This really, really pretty mini dress. It just it was a little too short for me, which I thought was funny because it, it must be really long on somebody else. But look at those pretty little sleeves with the cuffs. And it's got this little flounce hem. Oh, 
and the v-neck everything about it was perfect so it was just a little too short for me yeah a little, a little uh self-conscious about my knees i don't know about you if you're not good for you you just show those knees next up what do we have uh let's go with this oh this is really cute it is a harry potter scarf it is from Hufflepuff. So all you Hufflepuff house people, if you're a Harry Potter fan, leave me a comment in the, below and tell me which house you would like for the sorting hat to put you in. It is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And I'm probably going to list that for, you know, 25 and see how we do. Harry Potter things that I've listed before have gone really, really quickly. Of course, this is the J. Crew channel. Not, not really, but kind of. Kind of, but not really. J. Crew. These are so pretty. They're the palest little pink pedal pushers. They're size 12. They're the, the favorite fit in stretch. I just think they're gorgeous. Little pockets. Pair this with a little white t-shirt and some white kids and you are good to go. And go and go and go all day long. Oh, I thought this was pretty. The, this tag kind of um, fooled me. It looked like it was something super expensive. Akira Chicago. But it was new with tags. And it, only, it only sold for $45. But look how cool this is. I love this high-low hem. How cool is it? I love it. And this beautiful floral overlay. And it is, it is lined. Ah, I think that's really, really cool. Love it. Love, 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 ready for spring. And sometimes I just go and hang out by the t-shirts. You never know what you're gonna find. And this time I found some John Bavardos. I love this, this peace sign. It's really pretty. It, it retails at $68. It's a size medium. So I'm probably gonna list it right around $25 and hope to get at least 20 for it. Look here. I've got to look here. You guys, thanks for hanging in there with me. I figured out how to, where to look for the camera. All right, you know, there has to be lots of J. Crew because it's my favorite. I found two of the same blouse, same size, must have been the same donator. This is gorgeous. It is J. Crew, size 12, 100% silk. And this is called the Victoria Collar. Look at all that beautiful ruffling detail. It's so pretty. Oh, I just love it. And I found it in this color, which I guess would call, I don't even know what you call that color. Maybe like almost a, it's almost like a, it's a beige, but it's a richer beige. So there's that one. And then there's this one. Same thing in a tan. I just love this. I love that beautiful ruffle collar. It's so, it just look, makes it look even more expensive than it is. Of course, it is 100% silk. So that doesn't hurt either. Let's fold that up. I might bundle those. Would you bundle those if you had two of the same thing? I mean, it's exactly the same, just different colors, same size. Let me know. I wanna know if that works for you. Always good to have a few extra um, plus sizes in your closet as well. This is from Becca. It is a, it's a size 2022. 20, At first I thought maybe it was a camisole, but it's a bathing suit top. It's the like the tank part of a, of a bathing suit. So a lot of people now just sell them. You know, they used to buy suits together. Now they sell them as separates. It's all lined inside. It's new with tags. There's Becca. There's the size. It's 2X. And it's got this really cool crochet detail. Isn't that pretty? Someone's going to love that. They're just going to grab their favorite pair of black bathing suit bottoms and pair it with that and just gonna get rocking for the summertime oh hey surprise it's j crew <laughs> more j crew i i think this is a dress but you could use it i would think you could use it really well as a beach cover-up i like the little rounded hem see that so cute. It has zero stretch to it. And it has the racer back D 
detailing in the back. So I'm thinking it might be a dress, but you do you. You want to use it as a beach cover up, that'd be perfectly fine too. Next we have, it's always good, it's always a good day when you find a little Tory. Tory Birch is 100% silk with a zipper all the way down. It's called the splatter print shirt. You know, you can tell by why they call it that. 100% silk with this beautiful flounce in the front. Love it. Never seen a blouse that had a zipper all the way down. I think that's so unusual. And you gotta love Tori. Everything about Tori is good. This is from Silence and Noise. That's correct. Just a look at the tag. Brand new with tags. This adorable romper. I love this detailing right here at the neckline. Isn't that pretty? Not only is it a little romper, it's a size medium. And let's see, where's the tag so I can show you the... There it is, silence and noise. It's 100% polyester. It's got adjustable straps and it has pockets. Well, pockets, we all know we love some pockets. And it has that same pretty V detailing in the back. And let's see, you can see. Yeah, you can tell it's a romper there. It retails for $69, and I'll probably put it up at I don't know, probably $35. Hopefully get $29 for it. We shall see. Oh, I don't know about you. But during quarantine, I've been watching a lot of New Girl. We've been watching all the old episodes, all the old seasons. And I love everything they wear on the New Girl, the guys and the girls. And of course, there's always J. Crew represented. I love this. My husband says I buy everything for Winston Bishop. I love Winnie Bish. Love me some Winnie Bish. I think he would love this. It's the Daisy shirt. It is brand new with tags. J. Crew, flex washed, size medium. So, give me a holla, I'll give you a deal. You can always, if you see something you like here, you can always get in touch on Instagram. I'm at Dinner Party P. And Dinner Party P is also my Poshmark closet name. Because I am ready for some dinner parties. You? Me too. This is, I really like putting more men's things in my closet. This is an untuck it. I like this shirt. It's long sleeved, orange and gray check. Might be a, it might be a navy check, orange and navy. I like these autumnal colors that almost, when I saw it, I thought, is this a flannel? But no, it's just a regular cotton shirt, size medium. So someone is gonna really enjoy that and they're gonna look fabulous in it. I like selling to men. They don't usually haggle nearly as much, which is fun. Oh, it's another Winston Bishop shirt. Here we go. I really gotta figure out how to look at the camera correctly. This is from the original Penguin. I think this is super cool. Size small. And it's got grills all over it. Barbecue grills. So perfect for your favorite person who loves to grill out or just likes to eat grilled food. Either way, perfect. And it's in amazing condition. Let's see. What else are we missing here? Oh, here's a shirt. It dropped. Another untuck it. A beautiful gray and blue check. Perfect for spring. You know, this is one of those shirts that will be perfect for every single season, don't you think? I think so. We're getting down to the wire, y'all. I have picked out some belts. I think belts that have been used and have been worn, are they're just my favorites. This one is Tommy, Tommy Jean. So it's Tommy Hilfiger. See that? There you go. And it is really, really worn. Look at that. Oh, I think it's so cool. It's a size 32. You can barely read the inside. I mean, you can tell. I don't even see the Tommy there. The light isn't catching it. You can kind of see right there. There you go. It's a size 32, so it's small. But it looks like it has been well loved, right? Oh, I think that's really cool. I think it's great. I found another belt as well. I like belts, they're not usually very expensive, they're easy to ship, they're super light, they're easy to store. 
what's not to like about a belt. This one, I really like this one too. It is Vineyard Vines. And it's a lacrosse themed belt. Can you see that? There you go. And has the lacrosse sticks, the lacrosse helmets. Is it called a lacrosse stick? Is that what it's called? A lacrosse bat, a lacrosse net? Let me know in the comments and I can learn more about lacrosse. I mean, I could Google it, let's face it, but it's more fun to hear from you. I'm just gonna roll that up, put it back in. Let's see, what else? <gasps> Brett shoes, y'all. Look at these cool pair of Dolce Vita. They're espadrilles. Can you see that? I think they are so pretty with this, like the straw, the woven straw look. And I was like, they look great. They've barely been worn. The toes look great. The backs look great. And I was like, how do you put these on? They're a size eight. They're the Lurie shoe, L-U-R-Y. And I had to figure it out because I was like, I'm gonna try these on. But you have to stick your foot through here and then through here. And I was like, whew. They're pretty once you get them on, but that's a lot of work. I wasn't sure if I was up for that kind of work, but somebody might be. <coughs> oh, Gracie, that's Gracie. Gracie, Gracie, Grace, Grace, hey. She is not having it. She hears somebody at the door. These are Saludos. Look at these pretty espadrilles and there's the Saludos label. They look fantastic. They barely have been worn. Look great on the back, look great on the front, and they are a size, size eight. Man, I love these. They're a little too big for me, but I am ready for a, I'm ready for espadrille time. Right here, now look over here. It is, it's hard not to look right in the middle of the camera, because that's where you want to look, but it's over here to the side. Look at these, aren't they pretty? They look like they've got snake skin, and they are made by Via Spiga. Via Spiga, let me say that correctly, Via Spiga. Perfect fronts, perfect back, perfect sole, and they are a size seven. I think they're so pretty. And they were made for Bloomingdale's. We're down to the last one, y'all. This is my favorite. This is a pair of shoes I couldn't believe I found. Usually when I go to the Google, it's the first thing I look at is the shoes and then the bags. Or it depends on which one I'm at. Bags, shoes, shoes, bags. Um, and usually when I get there early and they usually put out, they come out about an hour after I've been there and they come out and they, they refresh the shoes. They bring out more shoes. So they, the guy came out and he's putting out more shoes and people are just crowding around this poor guy. I'm like, come on, give him a break. So I just went and looked at the t-shirts where I found the John Bavarios, which is awesome. And I came back a little later and everyone had cleared out and I found these and I'm like, what? What? Do you love those sequin skulls? Aren't they cool? But they were even cooler when I realized who made them. They are made by Alexander McQueen the amazing, amazing designer who is not no longer with us, but used to dress Lady Gaga for all of her amazing outfits. I think he made the meat dress. Remember the meat dress from Lady Gaga? But there's the, there's the backs, there's the bottoms, there's the toes. There is one small little scuff right here. Do you see that? There it is. These shoes retail for $645. And people, the comps of people, they're all over the place. They're from 90 to over 300. So I'm priced them right at 180 to see how they do. And it's gotten some likes, so we'll see how they do. I'll let you know in the in future videos. Let me know if you want to do a, do a, um, what sold, so you can see what I've sold. If that's interesting to you, if you want to go thrifting with me, let me know if those are interesting to you too. And that, my friends, is it for today. I'm really excited that you joined me. And if you like the video, hit the like button and the subscribe button if you want to have updates and you want to know when I'm going to put out a new video. Always a new video on Wednesday. So from Atlanta, Georgia, thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.